Tesla just canceled the big Model Y Juniper refresh. The official company statement, and I quote, is no refresh for Model Y launching this year, but in typical Tesla fashion, there's a lot they're not telling you, and there's a lot here you need to know. So let me break down everything we know about the Model Y Juniper refresh, where it stands right now, if it's delayed, if it's coming, if it's canceled, and also some big reasons why you shouldn't wait for this refresh Tesla claims isn't coming, and why right now might be the best time to buy a Model Y. Let me tell you what you need to know about the Model Y now and what may or may not be coming who knows when. Okay, so for those who have heard the buzzwords but don't know the details, let me break down what you need to know about Highland, Juniper, all these Tesla terms. Basically, when Tesla upgraded the Model 3 with its biggest refresh ever, the code name internally was Model 3 Highland. Technically, Tesla does not refer to this as Highland, it's just sort of the upgraded Model 3, but that name from the rumors has stuck, and that's sort of what it is. It's the all-new Model 3 with the new design and all the new upgrades and uh, comfort features and stuff like that. It's basically the new uh, design and refresh that it brought a lot of life back into the Model 3, and the same is sort of needed for the Model Y. Model Y is not a bad car, it's a very, very popular car, but it's been a couple of years since its launch, and it's gotten no significant refresh or upgrades, which means now is the time for Tesla to do something new and bold, which is exactly what they're doing with the Project Juniper refresh. In short, Project Juniper is going to bring all of the Project Highland features over to the Model Y, since the Model 3 and Model Y share so much of the same DNA. This means the new design on the outside, all of the cabin upgrades on the inside, that's the cool ventilated seats, the RGB ambient lighting, the rear display, upgraded sound system, the 360 degree uh, acoustic glass, the smoother ride suspension, all that is coming to the Model Y, and when it comes, will be a really amazing upgrade. If we see what Tesla did with the Model 3, that was is pretty big, but when they bring that to their most popular vehicle, it's going to be even better and is going to be a really great upgrade. Okay, so obvious question time. If I'm saying all these good things about the Juniper Refresh, why am I telling people to buy right now and not wait? Well, it's a little bit of a complicated situation, so I'm going to say this. The Juniper Refresh, when it comes, will be good, but in the meantime, if you're in the market for a Model Y or you own a Model Y right now and you're contemplating uh, an upgrade, let me tell you five big things you need to know that might just change your mind. Reason number one, one of the big things to consider here is, of course, the price. Tesla is known for sort of being a pricing roller coaster. It can go up and go down and go sideways with discounts. There can be freebies. Elon is known for being a, a person that giveth and also taketh away. And sometimes Tesla pricing can be crazy and sometimes it works out in our favor and sometimes it doesn't. The reason I bring this up right now is that Model Y pricing as it stands as of filming in early 20, uh, February of 2024 uh, is really, really good pricing and it hasn't been this good in a long, long time. Not only have Tesla prices been good for a while, but temporarily they're even better as Tesla just announced that they are cutting the price by an additional $1,000 on the rear wheel drive and long range models until the end of February. So right now you can get a Model Y for as little as $42,990 before any federal incentives and state incentives or $47,990 for the long range version. Performance is going to be $52,490. And again, that is before we get into incentives. And I should note that all of the Model Y trim levels, unlike Model 3 or even Model X, are going to qualify for the full $7,500 federal tax credit, which means you can basically cut nearly $8,000 right off the top of the price of the car and as a uh, point of sale discount, which makes the pricing even better. And that doesn't even account for state incentives and local incentives. You can pretty easily these days shave 10,000 bucks off the price of a Model Y just by getting some incentives from your city or state or the federal government. Now is a really good time to take advantage of some really good pricing. This doesn't even account for Tesla inventory pricing, which will give you all these discounts plus a couple thousand dollars more just by buying a car Tesla already has made. You can usually save two to three thousand dollars just by going with an inventory car. And also you can take advantage of some other freebies and specials right now. Like um, if you use a referral link like mine down below, you can get three months of FSD for free. And also there's a current promotion going on where Tesla will let you transfer your uh, unlimited uh, uh, supercharging miles or your uh, FSD from an older Tesla to a newer Tesla, uh, SX through Y, uh, as long as you take delivery before March 31st. All that to say that there are some pretty good freebies and incentives and attractive pricing options for Model Y as it stands right now, which may or may not change when Model Y Juniper hits the market. 
And just as a data point here, when Model 3 Highland went international and finally sort of, you know, went on sale around the world, pricing was adjusted roughly 2 to 12% as an increase. In the United States, pricing didn't change, but also Tesla lost some federal incentives, so it sort of was a bit of a wash, just things uh, with pricing have been known to go up rather than down. It's hard to tell where this could land with Model Y given a lot of different variables, um, but I will say that if price is of uh, the utmost importance for you right now, definitely something to consider right now is one of these current vehicles because you're locking in those federal incentives and state incentives. You're locking in the pretty good MSRP price from Tesla and then also the other freebies and discounts as well. Not saying that um, money solves all problems, but right now a Model Y, a really great car for the money, is um, something you should definitely consider because we just don't know if pricing will go up or down, probably up, when Model Y Juniper hits the scene. So one of the big reasons I'd recommend not going with a Model Y Juniper, and actually why I'd recommend looking at a slightly older Tesla, like 2022 or earlier, is for this little thing right here and this little thing right there, and then the others on the car. These are ultrasonic sensors. These are like the golden ticket of Teslas and really other vehicles on the road. But in Tesla's infinite wisdom, they removed them starting in the fall, around September of 2022, on Model 3s and Model Ys, which uh, made the transition to the vision-only system super controversial. The nice thing is that you can actually buy an older Tesla that still has ultrasonic sensors and they still work, and you're still getting all the creature comforts of a Tesla you'd buy in 2024. You can still get this with the AMD Ryzen processor. You could still get it with, I mean, basically, it looks exactly the same and functions exactly the same as a brand new Tesla you'd find today. But with those ultrasonic sensors, you've got way more accuracy when you're doing anything in the car um, that's going to require some distance, which is probably more than you'd think. Basically why this is so important is that when you go into reverse or you go into drive and you're sort of trying to park somewhere, uh, this measurement is going to be way, way more accurate and can be trusted because this is using ultrasonic sensors over the, uh, over the vision system. Tesla has done a lot these days with the vision system to make it better, but these are still going to be way more accurate and give you a much uh, more trustworthy uh, info uh, of your surroundings and what you may or may not hit. Obviously, there's the new high fidelity park assist. Tesla's trying to make things better, but ultrasonic sensors are still a really big plus in Teslas. And especially when you get the exact same Tesla experience, like there's nothing in here that you don't get in the newer ones, and you could save some money extra by going used. That's one reason I'd consider it just to get those ultrasonic sensors. Another big reason many of you are not going to want to wait for Model Y Juniper and why you're going to want to go with a Tesla right now, new or used, is because Tesla uh, has these on like their kill list. They are going all in on the stockless future and on the new Model 3 and on the new Model Y Juniper, the stocks will be gone. So your turn signal, uh, all of your uh, park uh, functions here, like going from park to drive, all that stuff, even uh, autopilot, all of that is moving onto the wheel. There's a brand new wheel on all of Tesla stockless vehicles that move all the controls on the wheel and um, your stocks are gonna be gone and all of those controls that you'd have with these physical stocks are now gonna be moved onto the touchscreen for better or for worse. Instead, what Tesla is going to do is switch to something very similar to what they've been doing for a few years now in Model S and Model X, and that is a stockless system. Basically, as the new Model Ys will have no stocks anywhere on the wheel, all of your shifting will have to be done on the screen. And basically what happens is when you're not doing anything, there's no physical controls, but when you press your foot on the brake to actually make an action, you'll be able to swipe right here in the direction you want to go. So you swipe forward to go forward, you swipe back to go back, you hold down on that button there for park, and that is the system, which many people do not like. I've seen many comments that say, no stock, no sale, and that is certainly an opinion that you can have because it is way easier, especially when you're trying to make a three-point turn or anything, to just hit this action and go like that, sort of muscle memory, than have to go here, swipe forward, 
forward, then swipe back or hit park or whatever the case may be. And I'm going to move because I've got easy entry on them. A couple of things I will mention though that might make this better is that one, there are still physical controls for these movements. They're just not in stocks, but they're in buttons. So in the Model S and Model X, they're hidden right down here where the emergency button is. And I'm actually able to hit these buttons if I wanted to go into a certain mode. They're touch sensitive buttons, but they're might be, you know, better for some than having to do anything on the screen. In the new Model 3, they're sort of built into where the rear view mirror is. So that's there. And then also what Tesla tries to do to make this whole process easier is use something called auto shift. And this is actually a beta setting that's in your uh, Tesla under pedals and steering. It's in the new Model 3 and will be in the new Model Y. Um, and it's this right here, which is auto shift uh, out of beta or auto shift out of park, which is a beta feature. And basically what this is going to do is try to use your surroundings to guess which direction you're going to go. So if you're in a parking spot, it's going to know you're going to want to reverse. So it'll automatically put you in reverse. If you're sort of going out of your uh, garage, it might go forward for you if you've backed in. It's like that. It's a beta feature which you can turn on. But to show you how that works is if I was to go in here and go into my profile and then I don't have my seatbelt. Let me put my seatbelt on and show you how this works. So with my seatbelt on, the car is going to actually guess where I want to go. So if I put my uh, foot on the brake, oh, in this case here, it's actually not going to want uh, know where I want to go. Usually it'll kind of give me a guess um, and then I'll have to confirm it. But in this case here, I would, you know, press forward and then go back and then it'll kind of show me where I'm going here on the display. So again, uh, it's all going to be moved touch sensitive. No more stocks in new Model Y. Might be some, uh, you know, some of you might like this, some of you might not, uh, but that is the direction Tesla is going on all of their vehicles moving into 2024 and beyond. Another reason you shouldn't wait for the Juniper refresh and buy right now is that, well, Tesla is kind of admitting there is no refresh coming this year, but with a bit of a twist. I guess uh, Tesla has gotten so much pressure from their customers that they're now putting out some internal communications telling employees to relay the message that no Model Y refresh is coming this year. But with an asterisk and a caveat, Basically, this is just for the North American market, which does make sense since the new Model 3 Highland just came, but also rumors stipulate that we're probably going to see the Model Y, like the Model 3, launch first in other countries around the world, probably in China first, and then come to the American market in 2025. So yes, technically this is a true statement. There most likely, and according to Tesla, there is no refresh for the Model Y, no Juniper refresh planned for 2024, but that doesn't mean it's not coming in early 2025. So just sort of uh, know that Tesla's official stance here is no refresh coming, don't ask about it, it's not in the works. It likely is in the works, but not launching as soon as we'd like. So right now is again a good time to buy. Something else to consider is that Tesla is looking to begin to downgrade their base models for Model 3 and Model Y and start to remove features and make you pay to unlock them. As of right now, we're hearing from Tesla Insider Green the Only that Tesla will remove front heated seats, rear heated seats, and heated wiper blades from the base model and put them behind a paywall, forcing you to pay to get access to those features. And for reference, a couple of things here to note is that one, Tesla's already done that before, and also also, this comes as an addition to other cost-cutting measures Tesla is doing on their base models. For example, the base Model 3 does not come with any floor mats. The base Model 3 and Model Y have a downgraded sound system that doesn't include a subwoofer or additional speakers. And also, these vehicles, really any Tesla these days, don't even come with chargers at the time of delivery as well as a standard thing. You can get it, but you've got to buy it. Another one of the really big reasons I'd consider not waiting is because the launch window is so murky. We've heard maybe 2024, probably 2025. What's so confusing about this as well is that Tesla is known for being sporadic with launches, but also they're sporadic with when they launch. Sometimes it could launch in this country or that country or whatever it may be. It seems like as of right now, the Chinese market will be the first to get the Model Y Juniper with current rumors saying that they should begin uh, mass production of that uh, vehicle, specifically at Giga Shanghai in China. So if you live in China, uh, you're probably going to get the Model Y refresh sooner than later, even though there is already a mini Model Y refresh there, but that's besides the point. Basically, internationally around the world, we don't know when it's coming and who's going to get it when. So I would definitely not bank on this being a solid 2024 thing. It could happen at the very end of the year. It seems more likely 2025 as Tesla is known for Elon time and timetables changing. I should also mention another reason not to wait for this vehicle is that while these upgrades are great, 
there is quite a bit of them you can add to your own Tesla right now if you do a little DIY magic. Things like um, the rear display, the RGB ambient lighting, some cosmetic upgrades, all can be done on your Tesla right now for a minimal amount of money. If you wanna spend more money, there are some more upgrades you could do with new center consoles and displays and stuff like that. But even for a couple hundred dollars, you could really transform your current Tesla and make it like new in a lot of big ways. Yeah, it's not gonna be the same thing as the Juniper Refresh, but if you're looking to buy right now and lock in those savings, or if you've got a Model Y right now and you're contemplating an upgrade, uh, setting aside a couple hundred dollars in your budget to give your Tesla, you know, your own Tesla, uh, some big upgrades uh, might just be worth it and might scratch that itch you might have of wanting to get a newer Tesla. So definitely there's something to consider as a lot of the stuff you could kind of DIY yourself. And then finally, what I should mention, one big reason I'd recommend not waiting and buying now is that I try to always recommend people buy on the promises of things today and not what could be coming in the future. Basically, there's always this or that or X or Y or Z that could be coming in a software update around the corner. And as much as I'd love talking rumors and breaking all this inside info down, when it comes to spending cold hard cash, I would rather spend on what the car can do now and what is available now than what may or may not come later. What we know right now is that the Model Y is a very great car. It's one of the world's best selling cars and Tesla's most popular model for a reason. It's versatile, it's comfortable, it's got a lot of tech, it's fun to drive, it's sporty, it's a good design. There are a lot of reasons to love the current version. Yes, an upgraded version is coming. Yes, Juniper is going to be amazing, but for the reasons I mentioned, it may not be worth the wait and buying a Model Y right now is not a bad thing. Yeah, there might be some newer features and stuff like that, but the car you go with today, even if you buy today, is going to be amazing and there's a reason why people love this car. It's really great and um, nice to sort of buy on what the car has and not on what could or could be coming who knows when. Okay, so I want to know your thoughts down below. What are your thoughts on all of this stuff? On Model Y Juniper, on the refresh? Should you wait? Should you not? Do you agree with me? Let me know down below. Also, if you made it to the very end of the video, I've got a surprise for you. So let me take a second to get all the, the other people out of here. So all the casual viewers, bye. Thanks for watching. But um, okay, so now it's my real subscribers for you guys. Um, I'm actually going to be giving away one of those JSOX Tesla phone holders. Uh, to one of you guys, all you've got to do is three things. Subscribe to the channel, um, like this video, then leave a comment down below and just include the car emoji. It could be any color car emoji. It doesn't matter, iOS or Android. Just put a car emoji down there. And then I'm going to pick one of you guys to give away one of these free uh, JSOX, uh, really cool Tesla phone holders to around the world. Doesn't have to be in the US, could be anywhere. Um, we'll figure out a, a trade if there's not a, a phone holder uh, in your country. Uh, but uh, if you want to win one for free, just leave a comment down below with a car emoji, subscribe, like this video, and I'll pick one of you guys randomly to do a cool giveaway of. And uh, also remember that I won't contact you on Telegram. I will contact you through YouTube comments in an official capacity, or I will email you. I will never, never, never ask you to go on Telegram. So just know those are scams. Uh, and good luck for a fun giveaway, just for you guys who uh, really watch my videos and uh, watch all the way through. I appreciate you guys. Hopefully, I can uh, do something fun and give away some stuff. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm Robert Rosenfeld. Thank you all, and I'll see you in the next one.